going on, everybody? Welcome to Alpharetta, Georgia, a suburb of Atlanta, about 40 minutes north, northeast, but with Atlanta traffic, it makes it a lot longer than that, and there's always construction in Atlanta, that's for sure. I think we were all shocked in 2015 when Bobby Christina Brown passed away here in Georgia, daughter of Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown, Whitney, of course, died in 2012 in Los Angeles. I've done quite a few videos on Whitney Houston. Uh, I'll put a link below to those. Bobby Christina, we watched her grow up. We, we from birth until she passed away. We, uh, people who love pop culture and just, I mean, everybody kind of knew who Bobby, Bobby Christina Brown was. And it was tragic. It was preventable, we think. So sad, and I'm standing near to where she passed away. When I say near, because I did a lot of research about where the house is and looking for it online, and I thought it's gonna be a gated community. It was owned by Whitney. It sold uh, recently, when did it sell? 20, 20 2022, for around 700,000. And um, it was on the market back in 2020 for less than that. Let me check. I wonder how much. It Sorry about that. I was correct. It was on the market for 599,000 in uh, 2020. Taken off the market and sold again for 715. It's a townhome, and so I thought it's got to be. Um, it's owned by Whitney Houston. It has to be a gated community. And then I looked online. You can get right in. Drive right in. I was like, okay, I'm gonna show with this and and pay tribute to Bobby Christina. And then as I turned into the driveway, I realized there's another. So if we walk down here. This is where it stopped Google. Those lights there. That was, that was, I saw I could drive in. And their townhome is right around the corner. There's the backs of them right there. But there's a gate right here. And I did not expect that. Now, I'm not going to get too intrusive, but if you look here, see the peak of that roof? About two or three over is the townhome where Bobby Christina passed away. Just, that's right there. I'll show you here. You see the backs of a bunch of them, starting right here. So you would go in there, make a left, follow that street along, and then it turns right. This is the first house that's starting in that direction. I know I'm being a little, maybe not clear. So Bobby Christina is right there. So I thought for sure I was going to be able to get right up to the house and take some photos there are plenty online i'm going to be showing those and actually i mean to be honest look if i was you know tmz or something i'd be climbing that wall it's not that it's not that high and hers is right i can see it kind of clearly through the trees it's gonna be hard, difficult for you as a viewer through the lens but it's right right there the home where she passed away three over so if you look one two and then the higher peak you can kind of see that's it very very um hard to see i understand not what i wanted to show you but i've got pictures but there's the gate that you drive through so it makes sense to me that it was a gated community but i didn't when i checked online i was like okay no problem i'll be able to make one of my videos that i do and talk about Bobby Christina outside of our house but foiled beautiful area beautiful beautiful area and yeah I'm not a guest so I don't really I don't know anybody that lives in there so this is uh, trickier than I thought it was going to be but it's very cool that there's this plaza here call them plazas we call them plazas in Canada kind of got everything you need across the street there's a CVS which is a drugstore there's a Kroger's grocery store there's a fitness place here there's sports bar nails a nail salon uh, what else did I notice that was in here everything you could possibly want within walking distance right from here so Bobby Christina she grew up in the spotlight right she was beside Whitney Houston when Whitney Houston was on Barbara Walters Bobby Christina was eight months old she was on stage at the American Music Awards her vocals are featured on one of Whitney's songs, My Love Is Your Love, which is a great song. That's uh, from the album of the same title. 
My love is your love. My love is your love. I'm going to do that again. Sorry. Which is a great song. You can hear her say, sing, mommy, and clap your hands. Now, Whitney Houston, when she passed away, she passed away in a bathtub at uh, the Beverly Hilton. Right? In February of 2012. Heart disease, cocaine use. That was contributing factors. Christina, Bobby Christina, was admitted later to Cedar Sinai, which is the hospital there. And a few days later, she was inconsolable and overwhelmed. So she wanted to be a singer and an actress. Tyler Perry cast her in For Better or Worse, a television series. And we can't forget being Bobby Brown. I mean, she was on that TV show. That was the uh, reality show, which was a little out there. It was. Um, it's, it's a, I loved watching it, but also it felt uh, intrusive at times. It, it, just, it was just weird, weird watching some people go through. It felt, it felt weird at times because we were watching uh, people with addictions acting out. And little Bobby Christina was there for much of it. Another thing was in July 2013, she announced that she was engaged to a close family friend named Nick Gordon. Now, he had been living in the Houston Brown household since he was 12, 10, 12 years old. What's happening now? Okay. About 12 years old. Because she used to refer to him as her big brother. But her grandmother, Sissy Houston, gave the blessing. And now, I don't know if they were ever legally married, but they did announce that they had married on January 9th, 2014. But it's unclear if they were ever married. So right here, right on the other side of that wall, it was January 31st, 2015. Nick Gordon, her husband, boyfriend, and a friend found Bobby Christina face down in a bathtub, which I know sounds very, very familiar because Whitney Houston was found submerged in a bathtub as well. They began CPR until uh, paramedics arrived. She was alive and breathing, then she was transported to a hospital in Roswell, Georgia, which is not far from here. I just drove through there. Now, first they found no evidence that alcohol or drugs caused the incident, but this was later disputed. She was placed in an induced coma, and it was after determining her brain function was, and I quote, significantly diminished, and her family was told a meaningful recovery would be, quote, a miracle. Now, she was in that coma for a long time because it was July 26th of 2015. So, what, six months later, seven months later almost? She died in hospice care at the age of 22. So, it was caused from effects from being submerged in a bathtub. The initial autopsy found no significant underlying cause of death and no significant injuries. And they said more tests were forthcoming. Her funeral was held August 1st, 2015. And she was buried at Fairview Cemetery in Westfield, New Jersey. Now, I'm flying to Canada after I leave Georgia, so I will not be stopping in New Jersey, but I've been to Whitney Houston's grave many times, at least four times, and Bobby Christina is there as well. She's right between um, Whitney's father and Whitney. So I'm gonna put in some photos, a video, I should say, right now of my visit to Bobby Christina's grave that I've done many times, I've gone on many times and I will go back again and maybe do another video because I'm a huge Whitney Houston fan therefore I was a Bobby Christina fan as well
Here we are. Whitney Houston. August 9th, 1963, February 11th, 2012. Who does not remember that day? I was in a hotel room in Niagara Falls and my friend told me. I guess he got the news on Twitter or something. I was just shocked the night before the Grammys. The voice, I will always love you. And beside her, Bobby Christina. Brown, rest in peacefully, March 4th, 1993 to July 26th, 2015. Daughter, sister, granddaughter, niece, and friend. And John Russell Houston, beloved husband, father, and grandfather. September 13, 1920, February 2nd, 2003, Whitney's, Whitney's father. I'm home in heaven, dear ones, oh so happy and so bright. There is perfect joy and beauty in this everlasting light. And I, I brought two rocks, I'm sorry, Mr. Houston, I did forget. And you were here too, and no disrespect. And for Whitney, we'll put it down here. See all the things people have brought. There's a Whitney cassette. That's her second album. First album was Whitney Houston. Second was Whitney. This is the one with I Want to Dance with Somebody. One of one of the greatest pop albums of the 80s. Her second album is just incredible. First album is great too, but the second one just that's the one I really took to. American flag, lots of beads, lots of coins, painted eggs, flowers. Family dollar. Hmm. And then lots of coins and a little flag for Bobby Christina. And of course, Bobby's got one as well. There we are. She was kind of like everyone's everyone's daughter, sort of. I guess. Is that weird to say? She was kind of just like you know we we. Watched her grow up, like I said. Very, very sad. After the initial autopsy, they used both medical records and police investigative files to arrive at a determination for her death. There are quite a few drugs found in her body. Marijuana, alcohol, morphine, a cocaine, uh, metabolite, and some anxiety medications. So the official cause of death for Bobby Christina was it found the underlying cause of death as immersion associated with drug intoxication. However, the manner of death could not be confirmed. The summary of her autopsy said, death was clearly not due to natural causes, but the medical examiner was not able to determine whether death was due to intentional or accidental causes and therefore classified the manner of death as undetermined. Now, finalized autopsy report later determined that Bobby Christina died of low bar pneumonia, which is the t type of pneumonia in your lungs. But yeah, it was right down here. Took a walk around back. Like I said, I don't want to be too intrusive, but we only got one, two, Bobby Christina's is this one right here. Right here. Just past the post in the middle. I'm wondering if I, if I said it correctly. You know, she got a lot of flack, Bobby Christina, through her life. She was raised in the spotlight, and there was people picking on her media, online, uh, about her weight, her looks, her talent. And that started when she was a child. 
that's unacceptable when it comes to things you, you don't you don't pick on a child even if they're in the spotlight I, I don't think it's just, it's just gross to judge people based on their looks and their, or, or their weight anything like that she got a lot of flack and it's no wonder she uh, collapsed like she did after her mom's death I mean her mother her mother was everything to her and I know that Bobby Brown was devoted to his daughter from what I know but yeah it seemed like she was dealt a great hand in life but also there's a lot of negativity that came along with it that she had to put up with This is about a 20 minute drive from uh, Bobby Christina's house. I'm in Duluth, Georgia. This is where she actually did pass away, officially. She was uh, placed into a medically induced coma and in July of 2015, here at this hospice is where she spent her final days. It's pouring rain, it's okay. It's just uh, a little difficult to film. I hope nothing's getting on the camera. And I'm gonna get into a little bit more about what happened. Right now, I'll discuss the will and what happened to Nick Gordon as well. At her time of death, Whitney Houston's net worth was actually negative 20 million, despite her previous success and a $100 million recording contract she had with Sony. Now, about nine months after her death, her estate was now worth $40 million. That's due to record sales, the movie, things like that. It was used to pay off Houston's debt with the remaining money left to her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown. After Bobby Christina's death, Houston's estate recipients included her mother and brothers, and they continue to manage her earnings today. Nick Gordon, Bobby Christina Brown's ex, died from a heroin overdose in January of 2020 in Florida. No criminal charges were ever filed against Nick Gordon regarding Bobby Christina Brown's death, but he was found legally responsible for her death in a civil case and in 2016 was ordered to pay $36 million to the estate of Bobby Christina Brown. Nick Gordon failed to appear for two hearings in the civil case in Bobby Christina's death, and her family won by default. So that's my video about Bobby Christina Brown. It's not the video I wanted to do. It's not exactly what I wanted to do. I thought I was going to go walk right up to the uh, house like I normally do in my videos. Wasn't able to. But so sad. 22 years old. And we all watched her grow up. Like I've said a million times already, we all watched her grow up. And, you know, if she had half or more than half of her mother's talent and her father's talent put together, who knows? Who knows what we could have seen from her in terms of uh, she wanted to be a singer and actress and she was already on her way. I mean, Whitney, that voice. Whew. And we know she loved her daughter very, very much. Rest in peace, Whitney. Rest in peace, Bobby, Christina. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love you all. Peace out.